Hey guys, Mr. Bowman here. Today's learning objective is in white, and we are learning to observe and extrapolate patterns. So let's get into some examples of what that means. So patterns are sometimes a sequence of numbers where there is a relationship, and it's your job to come up with strategies to identify that relationship. So I've got a fairly basic one here. What we need to do is we often need to compare the numbers. So I draw a V connecting the two numbers. So I'm going to connect 0 and 3. And to get from 0 to 3, I have to add 3. I then look between 3 and 6. Well, I'm adding 3 to get there. 6 and 9, I'm adding 3. And 9 and 12, I'm also adding 3. What we've done here in this line of working is we've explored the first differences of our sequence. And that allows us to figure out that every single time we're going to add 3. So to find our next number, we're going to have to go plus 3. And that's going to get us to 15. And to find our second number, we're going to add another 3. And that gets us. 18. So we've explored the first difference to find out that we're consistently adding 3. Let's change color pens. Let's look at orange. Let's have a look at another sequence. So we've got 6, 4, 2, 0, and negative 2. And we've got two unknown, unknown numbers following that. Let's explore the first differences to see if we can identify a pattern and come up with a strategy to identify and extrapolate the pattern to figure out what those last two numbers were. So the first question you've got to ask yourself is, how do you get from 6 to 4? Well, of course, we're going to minus 2. How do you get from 4 to 2? Again, we're minusing 2. So it looks like we're seeing a pattern already from, zero, from 2 to 0, minus 2, and from 0 to negative 2. And again, we're going to minus 2. So what we're going to do is to get to the next number, we're going to minus 2, which gets us to negative 4. And to get to the next one, we're going to minus 2 again. And that gets us to negative 6. And again, what we've done there is we've explored the first differences of our pattern. And we've then extrapolated that difference that we've seen. Let's have a look at another example that isn't quite as simple. So 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25. How do we identify the next two numbers? So let's have a look at the first differences. How do we get from 1 to 4? Well, we've got to add 3. How do we get from 4 to 5? We've got to add 5. And just there, I want to note, for the first time, our differences, or our first difference, they are different in itself. Let's carry on now. How do we get from 9 to 16? Well, we've got to add 7. And from 16 to 25, we've got to add 9. So that's the first difference. When there is a difference within the first difference, we need to do something for exploring the second differences. So how do we get from 3 to 5? Well, we've got to add 2. How do we get from 5 to 7? Again, we're adding 2. And how do we get from 7 to 9? We are adding 2. So by exploring the second differences, we've identified a pattern. So our first difference is always increasing by 2. So let's try that out. So let's increase that 9 by 2. So that's going to become plus 11. That makes our next number 36. And let's increase the next one by 13. 11 plus 2 gets us to 13. And that gets us to 49. So by exploring the second difference, we were able to identify a pattern and extrapolate or extend that pattern. Let's look at our next sequence. We've got Oh, apologies, that's the next one. So we've got negative 4, 3, 22, 
59 and 120. All right, so let's look at the first differences. So how do we get from negative 4 to 3? Well, we add 7. How do we get from 3 to 22? We add 19. How do we get from 22 to 59? We're adding 37. And how do we get from 59 to 120? And we are adding 61. So we've looked at the first differences. They're not the same. We haven't seen re any really obvious pattern. So let's explore the second differences. How do we get from 7 to 19? We're going to add 13 to that. How do we get from 19 to 37? We're adding 18. So this one's a bit weird. So our second difference also has differences. So we didn't come across that in our blue example. How do we get from 37 to 61? Well, we're going to add 24. So we've noticed some differences in our second differences. Let's go one more level. Let's have a look at our third differences. How do we get from 12 to 18? Well, we're going to add 6. And how do we get from 18 to 24? Again, we're going to add 6. And bingo, it looks like in our third differences, we've observed a pattern that we can extrapolate and carry on. So I guess the first thing is, how do we find out the two next numbers? Well, let's carry on. So if we did another plus 6, that there would be plus 30, which means that would be plus 91. So that means our second number would be 120 plus 91. That gets us to 221. Let's do this one more layer to find out the final number. So we're going to go plus 6. That means our second difference would have been plus 36. And that means our first difference would have been plus 127, being 91 plus 36. But we can now find that last number by going 221 plus 127. That gets us 348. So that was a bit of a nightmare, complicated one. But we did eventually observe a pattern in the third differences, and that helped us figure out the final two numbers. So let's change the pen colors again. Let's have a look at, I oh know, let's use the white pen. And we're going to be doing one that's slightly different. So we're going to start off with four, oh sorry, eight. Then we're going to four. Then we're going to two. Then we're going to one. Then we're going to one half. And how do we go about calculating? The next two ones. So this one here, if we looked at the first difference, that there would have been plus four. Oh, apologies, that would have been minus four to get from eight to four. And then minus two, minus one, and minus one half. So again, first difference not very helpful. We've got how do we get from four to minus two? This time around, we're adding two. And then we're adding one, and then we're adding one half. Okay, no difference there. And then we're going minus one and minus one half. So looking at the first, second, or third difference, that wasn't very fruitful. That didn't really help us with anything. So we need to develop or think of another way to explore the relationship between these patterns. So let's get rid of all of that work that we did. So that didn't help us. We now need to think of other ways that these relationships could be done. So if you think from 8 to 4, what's another way to get there? Well, I'm thinking divide by 2, or you might have done times 1 half, because they're not the same thing. And then how do we get from 4 to 2? Again, divide by 2 is going to work. 2 divided by 2 gets us to 1, perfect. 1 divided by 2 gets us to 1 half, okay? So if we go 1 half divided by 2, that gets us to one quarter. And then if we divide one quarter by two, that gets us to one eighth. So that one was slightly different. And we identified that division, or maybe at times of a fraction, was the consistent pattern there. 
Okay, and let's start off again with orange. So we've now got our final pattern. One, one, two, three, five, and eight. So how do we get from one to two? Well, that could be times one plus zero, but how do we get from two, one to two? Well, that's plus one or times two. So there's no real obvious pattern, plus one or times 1.5. So looking at that didn't really help. So it's not always going to be obvious what our answers would be. But luckily, this is a very well-known sequence, and it's a sequence called Fibonacci's sequence. And what that meant was the first number plus the second number, that comes to the third number. And we're going to go 1 plus 2, that gets us to 3. And we're going to go 2 plus 3, that gets us to 5. 3 plus 5, that gets us to 8. The next number would be 5 plus 8, that gets us to 13. And the number after that, 8 plus 13, and that gets us to 21. So that last one was a bit trickier, but the key takeaways from this message, a good way to explore and extrapolate patterns is to try to observe some differences or try to think, how did you get from the first number to the second number? So you may be looking at the first difference. You may be looking at the second difference. You may even be looking at the third difference that we looked at for the green pattern. And observing a pattern or noticing something then gives you the ability to extrapolate it and predict what the next two sequences are. So hopefully you found today's video useful.